So, hi guys, it's me again. Yes, I'm filming. I just filmed another video. So yeah, um, I haven't been, haven't been around, but um, I've been doing, you know, having a little fun doing, doing my hair and makeup. Um, I do have a new makeup look today. I did not film this one, but. I guess I could start doing it. If you, if you guys wanna see makeup videos, let me know and I'll start recording them. However, this particular video is for my hair. I filmed my straight hair routine, my updated straight hair routine for fine hair. Because as you know, for fine hair, it's a little bit difficult to find products that, doesn't, that don't weigh your hair down. So I think I found a good one, guys. I found a good product. It's pretty, it's thick, but it did not weigh my hair down. As you can see, it's very um, lightweight, hydrated color stayed in and normally I can't really achieve this straight hair if I do it at home but um the last couple times I've been doing have been coming out really good because I've been using new products so um if you guys are interested in how I got this look please just keep watching and I am going to jump right into it okay guys so right here I am doing just what I always do when I even with any style that I'm doing so I'm separating and detangling my hair I always use a big tooth comb obviously we natural girls this is like natural girl hair styling 101 use a wide tooth comb to comb your hair especially when it's wet so that's all I'm doing I'm separating and I'm um, just putting my hair into sections to make it easier to manage like obviously all of this is um, common knowledge by now, but for some of you who this may be your first time doing your own hair, it's very important to uh, break your hair into sections. Most of the time when I'm doing my hair um, like this, as well as the previous video I posted, I like to um, put my hair in sections and then also when I'm, when I'm actually doing what I'm doing, I like to work in subsections. So you'll be able to see that here. Okay, so while I, um, I'm actually coming to the end portion of my detangling, what I just showed you was a new, um, basically a new thermal protector for my hair. So when, for when I get to start to blow dry it. So it's, um, you saw the consistency of it. It's um, by OGX and it is a protecting plus silk blowout cream. It's a thermal primer cream and you put it on before you um, like just at the point that I'm doing it now like while my hair is still kind of damp but I'm about to blow dry it has hydrolyzed silk and quinoa and it protects your hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit um, of styling and um, smooth strands for soft and gloss, glossy blowouts and um, I actually did like this product a whole lot so after I put that on and I kind of comb it through to make sure it's distributed evenly I just twist my hair up in these little twist or whatever you want to call them and I do that for the for my entire head so I'm just going to speed it up a bit and um, then we're going to move on to the next portion okay so I've um, detangled and put in my um, thermal primer cream onto my whole head so what I'm doing now is just clipping my hair away so that I can begin blow drying so this is probably by far um the portion of time when I'm doing my hair straight that I absolutely hate um so what I'm putting on my hair right now is the um the chi keratin mist the leave-in conditioning treatment I always use that when I'm blow drying and straightening because it's very lightweight, but it's a um, it's a leave-in treatment and it kind of helps protect my hair. So I'm using my blow dryer and I'm using the um, the wide tooth comb first, just to kind of um, separate my strands and get my hair into the groove before I I start using the brush on my hair because my hair, like I said, it's very fine and it gets tangled really easy for some reason so what I when I do this it actually helps me to separate it first before I really get down to like the nitty-gritty of 
you know, blow drying it. And um, I actually need a new blow dryer. So um, I've heard of the Bad Bliss, I think it's pronounced, and the Numi blow dryer that some of um, the other YouTubers are using. Um, let me know what you guys think in the description box, in the comment section below, I'm sorry. So um, I just need some recommendations. I bought this one. Um, it was on sale and it was at a period of time where I really wasn't putting a lot of heat on my hair. Um, but I'm still using it and I know that I need something different. So just, you know, shoot me some suggestions. So um, that's all I'm doing here. And you'll see in a minute where I switch to um, a different brush. So I did speed this portion up as well just because, you know, when you're doing your hair and you do so many sections and subsections, it can get pretty redundant. But what I'm using is um, this particular hairbrush that I kind of use, I normally only use it when I'm doing my natural hair. And then I switch to, because that one actually separates the strands really good as well, and then I switch to kind of the circular brush with the little metal piece in it. That actually helps to get my hair straighter. So you'll be able to see here where um, I'm not actually trying to do the curl because I'm just not that advanced like they do in the salons. But um, it does help to, if I push my hair up against it, it helps my hair to get like flatter and smoother. That's a good word, a lot smoother. So I do that, I do this exact um, sequence for my entire head and um, it actually, this brush is what I think helps my hair get really smooth. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you the back just for a second so you can see just how I'm doing it. All right, now here is, um, after I've blow dried everything, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, so now I am on to, about to, yet again, I was trying to use this, um, <laughs> there's a blow dry lotion, I mean this um, straightening, straightening serum, but um, it really wasn't a lot in there, so I'm not even gonna mention it. I just put the little smidgen that I did have on my hair, but, um, like I said, once again, we are sectioning, 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 just to make this a little bit easier. I really should have um, named this tutorial how to section your hair because that's what I do for every single thing is um, work through sections. So um, I'm going to pull it back. I, I feel like I always start in the back left and move that way. So that's just what I do. It's easiest for me. I don't see how people start from the, some people do start from the front to the back. Um, I got a little hungry. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm sectioning now and then I'm going to pin the front part up per usual and work from there. Okay, so um. I'm actually adding a little bit more of the leave-in treatment on my hair because it's also like a heat protectant. And um, now I'm actually going to begin straightening. So I take very, not too small pieces, but very thin pieces when I'm beginning to straighten, when I straighten my hair. Because I also like for, I don't like to be have to go through more than once. Sometimes I do because some areas of my hair are thicker. This is the particular comb that I like to use because it's very thin and I love to use, to use the end portion to part but I also do the tried and true and now I'm obsessed with this chasing method um, I know I mentioned earlier in the video that I needed a new blow dryer but I also think that I need a new flat iron so this is also a chi flat iron um, and it does pretty well but I have had it for about I want to say a little almost five years so 
I think that I need to start looking for another one. So again, if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. So this is me just um, pulling out another piece of hair with the comb. And you'll see that I pull this piece into subsections and um, go from there. So that's what I do for the entire uh, portion of this back part of my head. I just would like to note that as you can see as I'm doing the pass on this section of hair with the comb you can kind of see the little spaces look how accurate this comb like gets my hair how straight it gets it it's I'm just so in love with this comb when I do the chasing method I just love it So I'm, um, I've sped it up here because as you can see, I'm doing the exact same thing for each section. And I thought that I was going to do a little curl, but then I was like, eh, no, I don't want that. So I ended up having to go over the ends again and just straighten it out because I just, also my toddler, he kept coming in. So I really didn't have time to, um, to really focus on curling my hair. So again, subsections and, um, doing the chasing method. All right, so now I've just moved on to doing the front portion of my hair and I just like to clip it away. I've been trying to get away from doing so much um, middle part when I straighten. I always wear my hair like that, but when I'm straightening, I try to try to move it out of the way, out of the straight part in the middle way. But um, this is just how I do the front. And as you can see, I'm only doing one single pass over each section because I really don't have to do more than that with this comb. What stinker? What do you want me to do? What? Fix it? Okay, let me fix it. What, you can ask daddy? <laughs> Okay, so now we are nearing to the end portion of what I do to my hair when I'm straightening it. 
I um obviously it's the exact same thing it's just the beginning the front part of my hair so I take a little bit more care I do it I do take care of you know the entire head however when I get to the front I'm a lot more careful when I'm doing the straightening because the hair in my, the front of my head is a lot more fine and it's a lot easier for it to break and get damaged so I try my hardest to just look at what I'm doing and focus and then sometimes because I have a widow's peak I have to go over the root part of that piece of hair because I don't I can never get it properly so that's just what I'm doing here and I believe that I am finished with the straightening so my hair once I um, put I'm putting on a little bit of sheen I know yes I'm old-fashioned for using this but I'm using a little bit of the motions I'm um, conditioning conditioning spray I don't put it on directly on my hair I spray it on my hand rub it together and then I just put it on the root of my hair for a little bit of conditioning and then on the ends because it's not very heavy so after that and I work it through I am officially done I look at the roots I see what needs to be done if nothing needs to be done then I'm finished and this was a task with doing it with my um with my three-year-old coming in and out of the bathroom so here's the finished product nice and silky Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.